Hey Leo, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're gonna do your weekend read, see what's going on here, okay? Well, it just all came chucking out at me, so we're gonna do it. All right, so give me something to kind of round this out here. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. And that was the wrong way, there we go, it's the right way. So we have Seven of Pentacles reversed, we have Strength reversed, and then we have the Ten of Wands. Ace of Swords reversed, and then Page of Cups. I feel like you're finally like, you know what? I don't have to push through something. I, I kind of don't have to carry this. Or it's like something is, you put a lot of time and energy into it. But you're kind of pulling that back a little bit because you're like, it, you're not seeing enough movement to make it kind of worthwhile at this point. And the Ace of Swords reversed is you're still, not that you're not, you're still giving to it in some way, but it's like you're just, there's some clarity you need because the Page of Cups, the intentions are good, they're clear. Um, you're starting off with something. There could be kind of emotional stuff that is coming out, um, but it's like something's not crystal clear. You've been putting in the time and energy, you've been trying to kind of be sort of like a rock in the situation because that Ten of Wands is usually like the person who's like, no, 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 I got this. So, you know, Leo, do you have it? Let's find out. So we have the Ace of Swords reversed. What is that about? Queen of Cups. You're, like I said, there's just this element where you're the one that's kind of holding it down. Like emotionally, you're just, you're giving people the space they need. Even if it's like, um, hi, I need some space too. Thank you so much. And then the Page of Swords. It's, there's this waiting, you know, um, and watching element. And for as much as, you know, like the Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Strength reversed doesn't really show a lot of patience, I feel like there is patience there where you're like, the clarity will come. It is fine. There's like you're holding, holding space, holding faith. What about this Page of Swords? Give me one more on that. Okay. It is the Six of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're just going to give the time and energy. Like I said, you are like the rock. There's something about it that you're the one that's holding everything down. With this Page of Cups, you could be seeing small returns on this energy. Because <laughs> it, it, like the intentions are good. But you're like, come on. You know, we're holding the space. Holding all the space. Actually, no. I'm not going to. This was flipper rude. So we are going to do this. So we got the Two of Cups. I'm trying to bring them out the right way here. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Wands, Five of Cups, and Temperance reversed. So, I feel like, you know, you have the Two of Cups. You want the balance and everything, but somebody is still kind of not putting, doing all the right things. So there needs to be more boundaries put up. The Five of Cups is like, you don't want to regret um putting in as much time as you have and not seeing returns and the temperance reversed is like patience is kind of like w w run out a little bit it's like the clock is run down on something so you have the two of cups you see how it's like going out temperance means you have to kind of pour the cups between yourself for yourself so if you have been being kind of the stable logical one it's kind of like like i said the clock's running down now what happens for Leo when the clocks run down? Oh, you need to four of swords and nine of pentacles? You mean take a break and do yourself? <laughs> so it doesn't have to be like a gigantic breakup, a relationship is totally out of balance, whatever. You could literally just have your calendar like chock full of stuff and it's for everyone else but not for you. So it's time to do something for you, Leo. Okay, that's the advice. And the moon, go inside for a hot second. You're okay. You know, so let's see, what does the Oracle have to say about this? Oh, are we on like cycles and commitments and stuff? Are we kind of going in circles? What about this? Agreements. It's like you got to meet halfway. There's stuff that you have to kind of put together, figure out. And the piece de resistance is what is important to you? Communicating it. And, you know, this could come down to your health, but you can say, you know, the messenger and stuff coming through. I feel like there might be a little bit of pushback because the cats are kind of um, 
they indicate superficial stuff, but also, especially with cats, you know how you pet them and then they're like, this is great, this is great. And then suddenly it's like, rah, 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 and it's like claws and teeth. You might be at that point where you're like, and I'm done. Um, but you communicate it and you do take some, I'm not gonna call it mental health day, but there's something that you need to kind of take care of, of yourself. Yeah, take care of yourself. Like your stuff is important. And it's recognizing that with the metal. What about it? Just give me one more. The moon. Hi. Yeah. The recognition. Two recognition cards. There's something you have to recognize where it's like put the oxygen mask on yourself before you keep trying to do it. So um, that's what I have for Leah. And I'll talk to you later.